so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready. Ready. Good. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Too easy. Habib Nurmagomedov gets the early takedown. Opposition knew it was coming, unable to stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you. He'll tell you that he's going to take you down. And he has so many ways of getting to that takedown. He's as good as they come in terms of setting him up. And right away, he gets the fight exactly where he needs it to be. Nurmagomedov's back in half guard. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The ground pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nurmagomedov gets caught by the straight punch. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Solid punch from the clinch here. Oh, he gets caught again there by another hook. He's connected on a few so far here in this round. Right back to it there. Forth we go. Easy jab there by the champ. Oh, I'm not sure if it was a gentleman's agreement for no feeling out there getting after it right out of the shoot. No feeling on process. These guys are here to end this fight quickly. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to a hero. I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force and his opponent is starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one that ends the fight. Back to the jab now. Man, he has a great double leg. Oh, goodness, he has a, a great double leg. Nurmako Medov's in half court. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Big knee lands here, body. And again, keeping that knee on the midsection. Nice shot there by the tank. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown a uh, menu at all. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nurmagomedov going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Oh, you land high Is that what we're doing here? Using the free hand beautifully. Lands a nice punch from the clinch. Oh, he separates from the clinch. Just missed with the left there. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Oh, nice double leg, yes. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get up in a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh. Nurmagomedov gets pounded here with these elbows to the head. 
making all these shots count. By close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Big ground and pound. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Right on the button. Oh, nice move and stick there. We talk a lot about sticking and moving, but slipped that offering and then countered with a punch of his own. I guess it pays to be the longer fighter. At least it certainly did there. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Ready. All right, second round underway. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. Nurmago Medov going for the takedown, nothing doing there. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Nice shot to the head from the clinch position. Oh, double jab splits the guard. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Back and forth we go. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Great block there. Oh, Superman punch. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Nice pass. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. All right, so there it is again, much like he did in the previous round, able to land that. Oh, and he locks up the triangle. That looks tight, DC. It's very tight. And now he's just got to start passing the arm across, pulling down on the head, feet the hips, and he will definitely get the submission. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Beautiful reversal on the ground. Side control now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Nermanko Menov's back in side control. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Well, we're in the clinch, but still able to land hard to the head with the punch there. Look at the redness on his body, man. Nurmagomedov goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there, nothing doing on that. Well, you saw us reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. Oh, nice, nice. 
Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Another good kick out. 90 seconds to go in round two. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. He's got that single collar tie locked in. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Big power shot there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, you got to think frustration is starting to set in on the other side as he lands another takedown, and he knew he was going to get a lot of this offensive wrestling, as yet he's been on it. Oh, he's going triangle here. That's it pretty deep. <sighs> oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell, so back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's Ready. afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. Ooh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Switch kick to the body by Nermago Metal. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Nice block. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Postures up now and lands the vicious head strike. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. Got Stop. it done with his strike. He fought Great. well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judge's mind. Well, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. That elbow got to the top. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Khabib's in half court. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Grab the wrist. Grab his wrist. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. If I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell at the octagon and go, man, don't shoot. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot is perfect. 
Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Ooh, crowd pops as he gets out again. They respect his ability to escape, and he showed how well versed he is in submission defense. Nice job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. It's been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh, nice. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Well, he has stayed busy, and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal. Like, oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight, and certainly made it count in that exchange. Single collar tie now. Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen a referee call in a doctor for bodily damage, but I'm not sure how many more of these shots he should take these. He can't take many more shots. I mean, he is going to go down if he takes one or two more of these body shots. He has been thoroughly beaten to the body in this fight. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, I guess the takedown late in the round here, that's a way to leave an impression on the judges, and big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next round. So that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four, fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the eye. him with the straight. Nice job there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat to take it down, so he is just letting those knees fly. He'll work with that jab, jab lane. He's got the single collar tie. So Habib Magomedov at his methodical best tonight and gets another takedown right there. Habib is one of those guys that will tell you what he's gonna do, and he will go and he will do it. And right now, that's being shown to be true because time and time again, he is securing takedowns on his opponent. Habib's has got full mount now. Let's go, push, push, push. Oh, he got to the spot. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. 
Oh, now he's attacking on train. Oh, it's getting tight. shot from the top. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. Straight punch. Useful. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. Both guys appeared to land there. Nice entry there as he gets another takedown. And I know his opponent has confidence in his ability to get back up, but I got an idea. How about... Don't get taken down in the first How place. How about defend yourself? Over and over, you're getting taken down. You're losing the fight. you got to change something. And for the offensive wrestler, oh, no! Oh, nice judo toss for him there. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. This is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Another big thing. Oh, and he's back up again. Ooh, how to get up with that? Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to glare on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Right lands. And there's a takedown attempt. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. He opened up now. Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Nice combination by the champ. Marco Manoff gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Habib's able to transition back to side control now. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight. And now he's a chip to choke. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, he's out. Back to his feet. Perfect combination. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows on the bar. Big double leg, level change. And a very close stop, stop, stop. one. Stop. A takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonade will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Oh, nice strength. That'll work. Nurmagomedov gets tattooed by that straight punch. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown, and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, keep it busy in the clinch. Dirty boxing here. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Great timing on that double leg. Back to the feet now. 
Edwards, another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at All right, setting up for a finish here. Oh, I'm no expert, but that fun flute choke looks locked in. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. These ground strikes are starting to add up. In the half guard. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to do with his cut. And now, all the blood is coming from the cut. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Nurmago medov has got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Oh, he's out. Takes his back now. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Oh, I mean, this is this is high-level grappling by both of these guys. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Well, so somehow, some way in this final round, back to the feet. It's like he's playing the lottery, John. He got to his feet now. Does his numbers hit? He has got to hit every button to try to get a finish. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Oh, and there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good get-up, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl earlier. He's got to defend a little bit earlier if he's going to stop this guy. This guy is so committed to his wrestling that he will continue to attack him over and over again. Khabib's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. North-South position. Oh, right into Mount. Look at that, going into the arm bar. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets you going, he's got so many ways to finish arm bars. He's out. What's first lead the Print the shirts, ground and pound. This is where he wants to be. Keep those hits active until you're back in guard. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Nurmago Menov going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Final seconds of this fight. Well, he doesn't need space. Beautiful connection there in the clinch. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close. But I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett.
Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle Fernando Mera. Right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes. But